Hello and welcome to my Westminster video diary. Um, this is just an, to give you a flavour for some of the th some of the issues that I'm involved in currently uh, in the House of Commons, uh, and just to give you uh, some understanding of what an MP does uh, in the in the House of Commons. As a member of the Culture, Media and Sport Committee, we are currently involved in looking at the issues surrounding the creative industries and the impact that the Digital Economy Act will have on the creative industries. Uh, it, recently we've just had a, 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 an inquiry into football governance, which the report has been published shortly, and, and you also may be aware that already that the report into the press regulation stuff uh, in terms of the Murdoch family. So it's a very active committee, it does exactly what it says on the tin, and we cover all issues southern culture, media and sport, uh, and, and as I say, it's a, it's a job and it's a committee uh, that work extremely hard. Other issues that I cover is I'm chair of the All Party Group on Occupational Health and Safety and we are currently looking at the whole question of asbestos, not just in the workplace but in schools as well throughout the UK, which impacts on our children and those who work in the schools such as teachers and janitors. And we're looking to try and convince the government that asbestos in the workplace or indeed in the schools is a really big issue and affects people's lives and we're asking the government to look seriously into making an inquiry or having an inquiry and to just the impact that asbestos has on people's lives. I recently had an adjournment debate which means that you have the opportunity to say, to have a debate and a minister, uh, a minister responds to you and that was on the psychological welfare of our armed services, our retired armed services personnel. It really threw up an awful lot of issues about the psychological welfare of these service personnel when they retire and how they're looked after. And unfortunately the Minister didn't give us the answers that we were looking for, but it's an issue that I will continue to pursue because the end of the, uh, the conflict in Afghanistan means an awful lot of ex-service personnel coming home. And I feel, and I, I think it's our duty to make sure that they come home and when they come home they're looked after because they, they've looked after us. One of the issues that really annoys me is the whole question of uh, tax avoidance and the Prime Minister has already said that he thinks it's morally wrong, morally wrong for people to um, uh, avoid paying tax. But what I find also morally wrong is the fact that taxpayers' money has been used to award contracts, government contracts, to companies or indeed to individuals who are involved in tax avoidance. And that's why I'm pursuing the government to look at their, 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 their procurement contracts to make sure that these companies don't get government contracts while uh, avoiding tax in this country. Currently we are looking at the welfare benefits bill that's come through, uh, the government's bringing through, and I just think it's wrong that people at the bottom end, people who are working hard in their lives, are being asked to uh, sacrifice some of these benefits. I don't think it helps the country, it divides the country between those at the well-off uh, and those who are at the, at the, bottom, of, bottom of the, the, uh, the bottom of the food chain. Uh, and the very fact that millionaires are getting a, 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 a tax cut at the same time that these people are being punished, I just think is, is, is indefensible. And um, we only need, look, need to look at the growth in the food banks that's happening throughout the length and breadth of the UK. In this, in this day and age when people are depending on food banks to survive, it's a sad reflection on our society and it's even a sadder reflection on the current government. Could I just conclude by thanking you for watching and should you, should you feel it necessary to get in touch with me, just contact my office and get, in, get the details on the website. And thanks again for watching.